Hi, I'm Lisa with Directional Learning. I teach reading and spelling. Today, we're gonna learn the hard sound of letter G and the soft sound of letter G. Now, it really depends on which vowel comes after the letter G. Let me show you. Okay, let's talk about our hard sound. How do we tell if it's a hard sound or a soft sound? Okay, so this is how I teach my students. I tell them letter G is called a goat. It's either a goat or it's gonna be a joker. Okay, so this is how it works. This letter A is a vowel, right? So it really depends on which vowel comes after the letter G. These vowels here are round vowels, so you can tell them that. And I tell them A is my apple, and apples are hard. O is a rock, and rocks are hard. U is an umbrella, and an umbrella is hard. So this is the hard sound. Now what sound does it make? Now, this is letter G. When it's with the round letters, it likes to simply play with the round letters and it will simply make its goat sound. So you can take the letter G and when A-O-U is after it, turn it into a goat. They can use their artist skills <laughs> to make a goat. So it will simply say G, the sound that you teach them when you're teaching them the alphabet. Okay, now when can the letter G not make the goat sound? Well, it's when the E-I-Y follows. Now, E, I call a big elephant, I, an Indian elephant, and Y, a yak. They're really large animals. And guess what? When it is next to these large animals, it simply gets to make the J sound. And it will look like this. I have them build a goat, so you can have them build a goat just like that, but don't change it into the goat because there's an E-I-Y, there's those big animals. So guess what? It becomes scared because it's never seen an elephant, an Indian elephant or a yak. So it simply gets this idea to tell him a joke. So he'll put his hat on, Joker's hat on, and he will tell them a joke. Notice the letter J is in that letter. That's why it can say J only when it's when E-I-Y comes after. And he tells them a joke in a soft tone. So this is the soft sound. So now you know the difference, the hard sound and the soft sound. So let's take a word. So if I were to take a word like this word here, look at the vowel, it has a letter G. I, I spy a letter G. What comes after? A vowel. Is it a round vowel? It is. So he'll simply make his goat sound, gate. That's how we get gate. And if we took another word, like this word here, there's a letter G. We have to look after it. Hey, there's that big elephant. So he becomes quite nervous, so he'll tell him a joke, and that's how we get the word germ. So now they know the difference. Make sure you follow me because I'm always finding fun ways to teach your student how to read and spell.